Hello everyone. Welcome to Ionize. Thanks for using our plugin, Basie Maintenance. It's a very simple plugin, which can be used, when you update your site, and want to put this under maintenance. People visiting your site during the maintenance will see the homepage, which you will build for this purpose. All other URLs will be redirected to the homepage. A correct 503 header response code will also be sent to the search engines. You can also set a time, after which search engines will try visiting your site again. Let's check out the plugin in action. I'm on a demo WordPress site. It has a few pages already created, which are all dummy pages by the way. This is a maintenance page, which I've created for this purpose. Now I'll go inside the dashboard, and install AC Maintenance Plugin. Before I add the plugin, let's see the existing users in this site. Currently the site has three users, an author, administrator, and an editor. Now I'll add the plugin. To add a plugin, click Add New. Then Upload Plugin button. Click Choose File. And select the AC Maintenance Plugin zip file. Click the Install Now button. The AC Maintenance Plugin has been successfully installed. Now we need to activate this. But before we do so, we'll check the HTTP header response of this site. There are many websites, where you can check the header responses of any site. I'll see it here, where I've already tested this earlier. Let's check this out once again. You can see the header code is 200 OK. You can also check this in Google Chrome Developer Tools. Go to the Inspect element, and get to the Network tab on the console, and press F5. Notice that the response code is 200. Go inside this, and you can confirm the status code. Now, we will activate the plugin. AC Maintenance is active now. Click the Settings link here, and get to the plugin options, which is of course a very simple configuration page. This is the options page, which has only six fields to configure. Some of them are optional, but recommended. One important thing to mention here is that, the plugin will not work, if your site permalinks are not set. Let's put this in default, and see what happens. Immediately you will see a notice, that you must update permalinks, to make AC maintenance work. The options will also remain disabled, and you cannot save changes. Let's update the permalinks. Now go to Tools and AC Maintenance. First you need to activate the maintenance mode, and save changes. After that, you will see a few more options. You can also go through the plugin usage notes, and configure this correctly. OK the first option is, terminate users current sessions. This will log out all users, who are currently logged into the site, like authors, editors, or any users, other than the admins. This may be useful, when you turn on maintenance mode, and don't want the other users to stay logged in, so that they cannot make any changes to the site, other than you. Let me log into the site in another role. I'll use the incognito browser, to log in as an author. Right now I'm inside the dashboard, where I'm still logged in as an author, and I can make changes. Now I'll get back to the other browser, where I'm logged in as an admin. Enable this option, and terminate all current sessions. Let's see what happens to the author in the incognito browser. I'll refresh the page, or try to make a change. I'll be immediately logged out, and be taken to the home page. 
Now we will move to the next option, which is very important. When your site is in a maintenance, search engines should also be educated about this, and should be asked not to crawl this at this moment. Set a time frame, which will tell search engines to come back to your site after the specified time. Next choose a page for redirection. This will be your home page, and all other URLs will be redirected here, making a temporary redirection during maintenance. I'm choosing the maintenance page for this. Once it's selected, a new maintenance template will be automatically applied to this page, which you can confirm. Let's confirm this. Click Edit Page, and look at the Page Template meta box. The maintenance template has been automatically added, which however you cannot change. It will stick to this template, as long as this is the redirection page. Let's get back to the plugin options. There are two options below this, which you can use to make the maintenance template blank, similar to DB blank template. We'll come to them later. Now we will see if other pages are redirected to the maintenance page, which is the home page. Let me refresh this. You can notice that the home page has been updated with the selected maintenance page. Now let me check if this page redirects to the new home page. And it does nicely. Now we'll see the next option. Even though all the URLs are redirected to the home page, the WordPress login area is still accessible and can be visited. If you disable the login page, it will also be redirected to the home page. Now I'll enable this option. With that comes a new field, Secret Login Page. Here you need to choose a page for your login. Since WordPress login page is no longer accessible, you cannot get inside the dashboard if you log out now. You can choose any existing page. There is no need to create a new one. A new template will be automatically added to the page, showing nothing but a login form. Please make sure the redirection page and the secret login page are not same. Once chosen, you can see your private login page here at the toolbar. Now I'll refresh the WordPress login page. You would notice that I'm redirected to the home page. Now the only way left to me to get inside the dashboard is to use the private login page, for which I've chosen the sample page here. You need to use this form to get inside the dashboard during the maintenance period. Now we'll see the last option, minimum user role. If you want other users like authors or editors, work in the site during the maintenance mode, you can give this privilege to them. You can set the minimum role permission, beyond that no one will be allowed to get inside the dashboard. Now I'll log into the site again as an author, and see if I'm allowed to stay logged in. See, I'm able to go through, and still remain logged in. Now let's revoke this privilege, and allow only admins to work. Back in the incognito browser, let's refresh the page. Oops I am automatically logged out, and taken to the home page. Now I'll remove the header on this page. Enable this option and save changes. Refresh the page, and the header is gone. You can do the same for footer as well. Enable this option and save changes. Reload the page, and the footer is also removed. So, that's all from the AC maintenance options. Now the important things. When you're done updating the site, you should deactivate the plugin. Near disabling maintenance mode won't help. It will just nullify the function and not remove the maintenance actually. Before we deactivate, we will see the header response once again. Let's do it again. 
you can notice, the site is throwing 503 service unavailable response code. It also tells search engines to come back in 1200 seconds, which is 20 minutes I said. Let's confirm this, in Chrome Developer Tools as well. It is indeed 503 header response. Get inside this, and see both the status code and the retry time. All look perfect. So, it's time to deactivate the plugin, if I'm done with updating the site, and want to remove the maintenance mode. For this visit the plugins page and click the deactivate link. The site is out of the maintenance now. One last thing you need to perform, is to update your home page, back to what it was. And save changes. Now refresh the site. The home page has been restored, and the content in the sample page is also back, which had a login form in the maintenance mode. All URLs will work perfectly now. The header response code will also be 200, which is perfect. That's all from this video. Please share your feedback about the AC maintenance plugin. And let us know if it works for you. Thanks for watching. It's goodbye from Ionize.